Hey folks, what's here? Welcome back to another Poem Master video. So, we got Serena, um, earlier, right? <laughs> uh, on the banner, and Serena is pretty, pretty good, <laughs> to say the least, right? Got th her 3 out of 5 before we even got to the scout point, so that's definitely a massive W for us. And, uh, yeah, anyways, um, let's, uh, let's evolve her first. Let's get, uh, get Fennec into Delphox. Um, personally, I like Delphox a, a lot. It's, um, uh, it's the start I picked for, for, for Gen 6, right? Uh, you know, Fire Psychic. Psychic is my favorite type. Fire Psychic, uh, starter I thought was a great idea. <laughs> I don't know a lot of people like, uh, Delphox as much, but, but I like Delphox a lot. So, anyways, let's do this. Let's do this. Um, five of these. Let's give them that. And let's, uh, let's, let's, let's get our, uh, evolution here. All right. Against Hilda. Lumio City over in Kalos has such a stylish look to it, especially the Prism Tower. Something tells me that <laughs> what really interests you about the Prism Tower is its gym. Really? Damn. You saw right through me. I do love fashion, but I love a good Pokemon battle too. I don't know. I mean, Clement's battle was okay, I guess. It wasn't. It's, you know what? I actually kind of like Clement's gym. It wasn't too bad. In that case, why don't you and I have the battle? Right. Absolutely. I was hoping we'd get, a, to get the chance. Get ready, here we come. Alright, let's do this then. Um, one on one battles. I actually do like these. Um, not that they're any strategic or whatever. I, I just like the layout, it looks kind of cool. <laughs> Anyways, um, see you later. Come on. <laughs> Try to will us me. <laughs> it's not 11 sleep 7 though. Mm. Oh, I'm not, yeah, I'm not used to like 1v1 trying to keep track of the uh, the sleep logo there on top um <laughs> we did we did do that no sense so <laughs> okay <laughs> that's been overkill i saw it was like an m -boy, you know stage three pokemon pretty bulky <laughs> i guess not i guess not that was a great battle thanks very much you too fennekin mm -hmm. thanks we had fun too huh? mm, what's up fennekin oh i get it you're evolving you're amazing, Fennekin. All right, let's get that evolution then. Um, and thirty gems. All right. All the protags, um, some both protags so far have had, well, except for Leaf, I guess. All the some both protags with, you know, fire, grass, or uh, water stars, have had their Pokemon evolve. Anyways, <laughs> that was a really weird categorization, but it's true. So there we go, we got um, uh, Rakeson, which we are going to evolve immediately <laughs> after like one battle. <laughs> All right, um, there we go. Let's get that, uh, let's get that Delphox. Use up three of those, which is definitely worth it. I mean, we don't really spend these on anything else too much anyway, so there we go. All right. Excuse me, uh, uh, Lisa, my name's Serena. I'm a huge fan of yours. Damn. <laughs> Hmm, judging by your fashion sense, uh, would you happen to be from Kalos? <laughs> oh, you got it! Closian? Kloj Klausian? Klausian? <laughs> Born and raised. Your style is just the greatest. Oh, and, and both the, um, on both the runway and the battlefield. Thanks. Why, thanks, but you know, there's no better way for you to show me what you mean than in battle. So, whoa, whoa, that looks cool. So let me see you go all out. Well, uh, fought both the, uh, Gen 5 recoil <laughs> strikers here. <laughs> Who is that, I guess? Um, probably slightly safer here. Discharge, okay. Who's that? Oh, I like, I like our animation. Or his animation, I, th I think it's the male, actually. I like his animation. Alright, still asleep. You know what? Let's get our sync move up. Check what that looks like. Are we just like we're getting non-stop MP refreshes on can't stop us? <laughs> Whoops! Didn't notice I was awake. Yeah, it's kind of hard to notice the uh, the the sleep symbol when I'm over here. Oh no 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 stash stash! <laughs> we really just got our stats all snatched <laughs> like that. <laughs> damn. Um, at least they don't have much use for uh, special attack. But damn. Okay, that did like 31 damage. Anyways. <laughs> Damn, we really got snatched like that. That's a fire sink impact, I think, right? Oh my god. <laughs> Took all the stats. 
Ouch, but not really. Alright. Another MP refresh on that. Bro, I don't even know why we just keep on getting like MP refresh on that like over and over again. There we go. Alright. Damn. The power of what? I think she was about to say friendship. <laughs> you just fought so wonderfully. I almost it, it almost made me dizzy. <laughs> you hear that? Uh, Brixian, uh, Brixian, I never knew how to pronounce it, Brixian? Uh, Elisa complimented us. I know this is probably the more popular form, honestly, that I've seen. Hmm, Brixian? Oh, you're evolving. That's amazing. Let's keep doing our best together. There we go. Delphox. I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> Alright. Um, when it first came out, I confused the same with Blaziken a lot. I don't know why. <laughs> Alright. There we go. I can't Fox. It. You're Mystical fire positivity. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, let's go try it out. So today, what we're gonna actually do is we're not gonna showcase a threat of five, um, the Fennekin. However, or not Fennekin anymore, a uh, Delphox. However, we're gonna show showcase one out of five budget build. The reason we're gonna do that is because the one out of five budget build is actually amazing. Like, you get everything you need. You, you literally don't need, like, anything else, like, at, at, at 1 out of 5 on its budget build for a pure tech build for, um, Serena, right? Obviously, if you do make it 3 out of 5, you get a, you know, you got lots of offensive options as well. But at, at 1 out of 5, you got basically all the tech nodes you need, right? Like, except for, like, maybe, I guess, Bedazzle 1, but it's, like, not that big of a deal. <laughs> it's not sad, but it's just, like, minus 1 accuracy to, like, your whole enemy team. Um, so yeah, this is all we're gonna pick up. We're gonna pick up, can't stop us MP refresh, right? That's always nice. You got the accuracy thing, which is really, really nice in Villa. Um, we got a hypnosis move gauge refresh, and most importantly, dynamic entry. So it makes that your first move when you enter the battle be a sure hit, um, which is gonna be your hypnosis, right? The reason why we're gonna actually do that, even though she does have accuracy buffs, is, um, so you could go into the battle from right, like, off the top, you throw out a hypnosis, uh, sleep your whole team, and then you could use your, you know, then you could use your can't stop us to increase your accuracy while they're asleep, and then boom, you got your accuracy up. You, that means you don't have to use like troublemaker or whatever on on on, on your um, lucky skill, right? You, so you could, you know, equip some other stuff. Although there really isn't much or many lucky skills that would be really beneficial for Serena at one out of five. Um, however, at three out of five, you definitely want something like you know, like a critical strike or whatever. Or Dauntless. Dauntless is also, like, not terrible. Because, like, even though you have Impervious, right? Um, which is fantastic. But, like, you save, like, 10 energy. You could pick up, like, some other, you know, stat bus. Or it depends on you, right? So, anyways. Uh, yeah, like I mentioned before, budget build. We still have, like, 30 energy remaining. Um, obviously, you could pick up some stats if you want. Um, but, like, none of these are, like, really that great in terms of stats. It's, like, there's, I, I, there, I guess there's this one, like, speed plus 5, which is cool I guess uh but yeah nothing too amazing in terms of stats uh so we could just you know just 30 energy and you got like all you need from Sabrina or not I was like let's call you Sabrina <laughs> Serena <laughs> which again like she has to be like one of the best you know one out of five units in the game right um because like a lot of like real really great units like Alakazam like Skyla like Garchomp um Galissapod right they all get like crazy at three out of five um, not too many really, really good 1 out of 5 units. One really good one is Charizard, right? Red and Charizard is very, very good at 1 out of 5. Um, and so is Delphox. So, anyways, let's, uh, let's go into this. Let's, so again, like I mentioned before, we're just gonna, a full, just like a sleep showcase video for today, right? And we're going to use, um, not this team, but we're gonna use a similar team. I actually have the team out here. How did, how did they change my team? What the heck? I, I had a preset team. Anyways, oh, bear with me for like two seconds as we uh, sort this out real quick. All right, um, so that let's put front and center. Even though we have to, we're gonna use Grimsley here as well. Uh, Delphox, we'll put Grimsley in here as well. There's Grimsley. There's Grimsley, and then we're gonna put. Uh, you know what? Let's do Lycan Rock. How about Lycan Rock? Let's do Lycan Rock. So, what we're gonna do here, if you haven't guessed already, is we are going to use Sink or Swim. Sink or Swim, you know, gives you plus three crit 
and then um, plus three evasiveness, and when your mega gives you plus six attack as well. However, um, it does take 90% of your HP away. So under normal circumstances, you don't want to use this move, right? However, if the opponent's all asleep, they're not going to use any moves. So no AoEs to hit him. Safe to use Synchro Swim. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's do this then. All right. Let's try this out. <laughs> like I mentioned before, uh, since we do have the um, the dynamic entry skill, our first hypnosis will be a guaranteed hit. And here we go. The Dark Void. Basically Dark Void move. Look. Puts Lapras asleep, both sides are asleep. <laughs> they're all asleep. And then now that they're asleep, we could go ahead and, and queue up a uh, Can't Stop Us for some stat buffs there. Uh, mainly accuracy, right? Alright, here's one thing about Serena um, that I do think is slightly overlooked. Yes, she's really strong, but like, and 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 um, Dark Void is very powerful. However, there's one thing is that like the enemy generally don't have like a really set time that they wake up at, right? It's like like the sides are still asleep, and and like the mid's already awake, right? So that's like a slight issue here. Nope, you're not blizzarding us. You're not going to use that AoE attack on us, even though we haven't used Synchro Swim yet. We, I'm waiting for Mega first, uh, before we do that. Alright, and then... Oh, there we go. Sleep again. <laughs> Let's get that second stat buff in there. Uh, or accuracy buff, mainly. And... Damn. Alright, here we go. Synchro Swim. Minus 90% of our HP <laughs> to use that one move. Alright. Mm, they're still asleep. Let's see. Oh god, I'm pretty refreshed on that now. Dude, 90% of our HP gone. Ah, I was a bit too late on that one. Um, again, Delphox is a very, very high skill unit. Um, it's it's very, very different from units like um. What's a good example? Other than red, I don't want to always use red as an example, but like he's a perfect example, right? Uh, but yeah, basically, you know, like red. Uh, you know, you don't have to put much thought into it, you know, like, a, a five-year-old kid could use red and, and do very, very well with it, right? And that's why red's so good. Um, you don't have to put too much thought into it, and then it you, you, you could just do wonders. Um, however, Delphox is, is not like that. Delphox, you have to actually, um, work on your, your hypnosis timing, right? Because, again, all Pokemon are, are, all enemies have different sleep times. You have to try to nail them down as, as much as possible. Um... So you do have to practice with it a lot, you have to use it a lot, you have to observe your opponents a lot, you need to know when to use hypnosis, who to use it on, because, like, <laughs> when I first tried Fennekin out, um, uh, you know, it, again, it took me, like, a round to get used to, right, uh, off camera, um, I, I kept on sleep, uh, you know, like, once one of the sides woke up, like, I still used hypnosis on the mid, which was already asleep, and it doesn't do, it doesn't do that because, like, you have to target the sides, to like actually have it succeed because like go viral for go viral to activate you have to make it successful first right so you know it, it takes some time to get used to all the mechanics and, and all that stuff uh for for delphox again like i mentioned before it, it's a relatively hard uh to use unit in comparison to um a lot of other stuff right so yeah there we go um delphox very very good um extremely powerful for villa right um it's okay for the, I guess, Legendary Arena. It's just that a Legendary Arena just has, like, one <laughs> opponent. It's not, not that big of a deal. And it's going to be really, really good for Cobalion, though. Cobalion is weak to sleep. Um, a lot of people are saying, oh, what if Cobalion has wide fighter? Oh, well, actually, on the contrary, Cobalion is actually weak to sleep. Um, you know, uh, it takes uh, Cobalion actually takes increased damage when it's asleep. Um, so that's going to be definitely helpful when that comes around. And obviously, like I mentioned before, Battleville is just going to, you know, it's just going to get destroyed um, by Delphox, right? Uh, because again, all of them are like uh, three, um, three units, right? So it should be really, really good. And the other thing about Balvilla is that Balvilla units um, generally do not have very high lesson sleep levels. Like, like the training course um, opponents that we just fought, a lot of them have like really high um, sleep resistance, right? At like lesson sleep seven or eight. But Balvilla units generally just have like lesson sleep four, or whatever, three, five. Um, so yeah, it's 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 gonna be great. It's it's a great unit. Um, it's competing for one of the best in the game, uh, obviously, and like even without three out of five, it's still really, really good. At three out of five, you just like insane, right? Because not only can you put 
you know, you could just dark void your, your opponent with accuracy. Um, you could also do massive amounts of damage as well. So anyways, that's my favorite. This one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know guys think in the comments down below. Uh, like and enjoy this video. Subscribe to channel for some more Poem Masters content. I'll see you guys in the next one.